up everybody it's Stefan here from mod fame and i know you guys have all been waiting you saw the title of the video so in this video we're going to talk about the cost of the cheapest hellcat in the country we're riding out in the porsche it's a cold day in new york but the roads are clear and there's no salt so we decided to take the car out this weekend it's been a fun weekend so far but let's get into this video let's go but i'm feeling a little frisky so what do you say we put the car in Sport Plus, which is right here. Put the car in Sport Plus. You'll hear it kick in. The suspension is now in Sport Plus, so it's lowering. And how about we do a nice little pull? See how this thing picks up. Do you see the bar at the top right? That's how much boost it is. Oh yeah, she pulls. She pulls nice. She pulls nice. She disappears when she gets ready. Woo. Lord have mercy, I'm gonna miss this thing. <laughs> when it uh when it finally goes. It's uh it's amazing. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, to catch myself a little bit. It might have seemed calm, but this thing pulls really strong, like it and it just keeps pulling. That pull was pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. I realized that I do a lot of videos though from inside the car. And you guys don't get a chance to see how beautiful the car is from outside. Joe, show them this thing. Show them how crazy this car is. Go, go, go. Back to the topic at hand. So, as you know, we bought the cheapest Hellcat in the country, but there's a disclaimer to that. And the disclaimer is, we bought the cheapest Hellcat that's still under factory basic warranty, which is bumper to bumper. That is a clean title vehicle and, you know, in good condition. So, the price that we paid for this car is, $44,000 and that included all the dealer fees. It didn't include tax, but it included all the dealer fees, $44,000. Uh, the dealer has had this car for quite some time. Um, or Kia, for whatever the reason, decided it would be a good idea to take in the Hellcat and try to sell it themselves. Um, so sometimes dealer gets, dealers get stuck with inventory. That's not quite the right fit for them. Um, so that's where someone like you and I come in and actually take advantage of that and get a good deal on what seems to be so far from what I've seen in pictures or what I've showed you guys in video clean car so this particular car has 34,000 miles the car has 2,000 miles left of bumper to bumper basic warranty in addition to that the car has a completely clean Carfax so I guess the next question is uh, what cars were cheaper so in my search, I found about three cars that were significantly cheaper. Uh, 42, uh, 41, I had negotiated down to one. Until I found out when I was going through and negotiating on the car, I had them finally send me uh, an auto check on the car. And it came back with vehicle at auction by manufacturer. So that struck me as odd. Why is the car at an auction? And how did it get back to the manufacturer? Well, it turns out that that particular car and the couple of other ones were lemons. They were manufacturer buybacks um, through Lemon Law. So yeah, we almost bought a lemon. I think it would have been cool though. We'd have made it work, but we'd have been stuck with the car and not be able to sell it later. Um, so how did we pay for this car is the question. And I know a lot of you ask, who the hell is we? It's me and Joe. Joe and I are mod to fame. He's behind the scenes editing this for you guys right now and making it happen. And I'm the person that you see that's doing all the crazy stuff. But anyway, how do we pay for this car? Well, um, I went to my credit union and I said, hey guys, I think I want to buy another car. You know, they're good. So they're like, all right, Steph, cool. 
Um, so worked out a, a, a good rate on this particular car. It's not the best, but it's pretty darn good. I mean, it's 4% or 3.9%, and that's over the course of 72 months, and that's with pen fed. So the question comes about, why didn't you just buy the car cash? One, liquid cash makes no sense to drop into cars when interest rates are as low as this is. Two, this is not a purchase for Stephen Williams. This is a purchase for Monty Fink. So we need to leverage as much as we can to keep it to a lower amount. So what is that lower amount? How much is $44,000 over the course of 72 months at 3.9%? Well, it's about $700 a month. And that's what we'll be paying for the cheapest Hellcat in the country, $700 a month. There was some lease specials and you know these cars could be had for about that amount, about seven to $800 a month. But that included a significant amount of money out of pocket once you factored in taxes and all that. So it's not a fair comparison. And there goes the police, so I need to take a look. So I'm gonna put this down for a second. And I'm back. I believe I left off saying $700 a month. Oh, I know what I left off with. Why not buy the car cash? Well, like I said, it doesn't make sense um, when money is that cheap. Uh, but we'll have another, we can have another conversation. If you guys want to know about like financing versus leases versus cash, put it in the comments and you know, maybe we'll do a separate video on that. But that's it guys, $44,000 for the car. Uh, we're financing the car over the course of 72 months at a interest rate of about 4%, 3.9 to be exact. And yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much it. So the dealer has also done me a favor, sent me a couple more clips of the car. I'm pretty sure you saw it at the very beginning of the video, but Joe's gonna drop in just another one here in the car revving up. I mean, we're getting excited. So just a couple more details on the trip. Uh, like I said, we are landing in Dallas, Texas. We're gonna land in 125. Then we're gonna rent a car, drive over to Louisiana to go pick up the car. Uh, so we'll be at the dealership uh, Thursday, January 25th. Uh, we'll be there at two o'clock. We'll be at the dealership. From there, we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna drive eight hours straight up to Nashville, Tennessee. And in Nashville, Tennessee, we're gonna meet at 10.30 p.m. at uh, Fifth Gear. Fifth Gear is the name of the place. Amir set up the meet for us. We'll be at Fifth Gear. Uh, it's just outside of the city of Nashville, but you'll look it up. Just Google uh, Fifth Gear and you'll see it, the name of the place. We're gonna meet there at 10.30 p.m. Um, and the next morning, gonna get up, drive up to Columbus, Ohio. We still haven't locked in the place for Columbus, Ohio yet, but this should be fun. People that I'm hoping to see in Nashville, Tennessee, include, I hope to meet up with SRT Mush, so if you guys want to see that too, you want to see us meet up, put the two Hellcats together, or maybe if he wants to bring out the demon, that'd be awesome. But if you guys want to see that, go to his page, comment on some of his videos, meet up with Montefane, meet up with Montefane. He said he has the kids and he's going to try to get them to bed early. So let's see if we can make that happen. Also in Nashville, Tennessee, I'm looking forward to seeing my guy Jeremy, aka Taco Travels, aka one of the greats when it comes to this photography thing, aka writer for Speed Society. He wrote an amazing article on our last video announcing the purchase of the cheapest Hellcat. And his article, I always say like his writing is crazy. If you don't know it, go look at Jeremy's writing on Speed Society. But in addition, I know it's good because Northwest Streetcars picked it up. If you don't know what that is, that's the same thing as Street Outlaws, a show on Discovery Channel. They picked it up and posted it on their Facebook. So this thing is already picking up a good amount of traction. So I know we're heading in the right direction. And you know that just means that we got to produce that much more content once we get the car. But yeah, that's another person I'm looking forward to seeing. I'm pretty sure he's going to, maybe we can get together before we leave for Ohio Friday morning and do like a shoot of the cheapest Hellcat. Jeremy, let me know what you think, man. Hit me up. In Dallas, when we get off the plane, uh, we're hoping to meet Demonology and that he can bring out his demon or his Hellcat, it doesn't matter, and meet us when we come off the flight. So we're trying to set that up for you guys. If that's the case, we'll have a cool demon video at uh, DFW Airport, which will be pretty awesome, but we're still working on that part. So for Columbus, Ohio, 
Uh, that's going to be 126. That's Friday night. We're going to have a cool meet. We haven't set the time yet. It's looking like it's probably going to be about 6.30 or so. And then ongoing from there. But we're going to come hang out with you guys. Have a good time. So if you're near Columbus, come on out. As you know, we're meeting in Columbus, Ohio with Stunner Reese, who's going to bring some guys from his area in Chicago as well. And his hometown, Will Motivation, who's going to bring out the Lambo and a couple other exotic cars as well to come have a good time meet. So this is going to be awesome, guys. You got to catch up with this. So get on the wave. Make it happen. We're going to release more in the next video. Uh, so stay tuned. And just like that, we hopped in another whip. It's me and my boy Eugene just hopped in his Maserati, uh, going to take care of some business, do a few things. But if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. And until the next one, what I do, Gene? We out, we out.